What's up guys, thanks for tuning into the channel and I just want to start this video off by saying that Wednesday, April 19th is a day in the turkey woods that I am going to remember for the rest of my life. So me and my buddy Cam started off the morning on a big long ridge top that I'd actually scouted the week before turkey season and heard 10 different birds on. So we knew it was going to be a good place to start as well as give us a good vantage point to be able to hear down them little finger ridges and hollers, see if we couldn't get one fired up on the limb. And we had actually had a wind front push through the night before and it kind of kept these birds quiet on the limb till about 30 to 45 minutes after daylight when we finally got two birds fired up down in the holler below us. So we made a big loop, got around them and got set up about 200 yards right above them. But unfortunately, as happens pretty usual this time of year, they had hands with them. So we worked them for about 45 minutes, but every time they gobbled on the ground, they were getting further and further away. So we let those birds alone and decided to get up and just do some walking, do some calling, see if we couldn't fire a bird up mid-morning. So again, we did a ton of walking and a ton of calling, just trying to get a bird fired up and uh, had no luck. That wind was kind of picking up as the day goes on. So I knew we were at a disadvantage being up on that ridge top. And of course, as our luck would have it, I was going back and forth the night before on which farm to hunt, whether it be the home farm or the peach farm. And we decided to come out to the home farm. And of course, there were birds in my food plot on my trail camera all morning out on the peach farm. So I was kind of kicking myself for not going out there because I was really leaning towards it the night before. So again, we did a ton of walking, a ton of calling, never had any luck striking something up. So at about 10.30, we decided to pack up, come off the mountain, get in a truck and head across town and go out and see if we couldn't find some luck on the peach farm. So of course, both of us were feeling pretty hungry from doing all that walking and all that calling. So we decided to swing into McDonald's and grab a quick bite to eat and get some lunch. And as we were sitting in the parking lot, my camera went off and there were three long beards walking down that pine road leaving the clover plot so we hurry and put the truck in drive and headed out to the peach farm and as soon as we pulled up onto the gravel road we actually saw all three long beards working over the hill down into the old pig pen that they like to get in and dust so i hurry and dumped the truck over the hill we grabbed guns camo cameras and vest and took off on a straight beeline to see if we couldn't get set up on them so as we Driving down the gravel road, three long beards walked right across the road by 150 yards of the truck and popped over into the pig pen. So we already just parked the truck, got everything, we'll go sneak out, get into the field across from where they went over, see if we can't call them back up and get to them. I don't know if we'll be able to, but worth a shot, so we're gonna try it out. Just have your gun ready to go. Because they might just pop. Wait, what is it? Right in front of you. Yeah. Because of the train. Here 
they come. They're strutting right here, Cam. And where you shoot first. Let them come. You see them? Tell me when you're gonna shoot. Don't shoot yet. Let him come. Let him come. Don't shoot yet. Don't shoot yet. Pick one, pick one. Shoot, shoot. Hell yes! Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Are you freaking kidding me? Are you? Pick one, pick one. Shoot, shoot. Hell yes! <laughs> yeah. Are you freaking kidding me? Are you? All right, well, I apologize for how hectic and quick that video is going to be. Um, we spent all morning on a different farm, a farm I call the home farm. That's about a 30 minute drive from the place we're at now. And um, got on some birds this morning. Never could get the deal done with them. Kind of shut up on us from about 7.30 and we stayed out there until about 10. And we're like, all right, we got to make a move. I have a camera, a Moultrie camera right here on this clover plot. And uh, of course these birds were in it all morning after we made the decision not to come here. So ran into town, grabbed some lunch, hightailed it up here and we got out of here about 11.30, almost closer to noon. And as soon as we pulled on the gravel road, we saw three toms go over the ridge down into an old um, hog pen. They like to get down there and dust. So we just dumped the truck over the hill, put it in park, grabbed our stuff, cameras, guns, loaded guns, and uh, grabbed the calls and uh, went after them. So we kind of dropped over the side of the road. You'll see on the GoPro, we kind of dropped over the hill just so we didn't skyline ourselves and beelined it and got set up in the best possible spot we could right here on this long pine road that leads into this plot. And we knew that they were gonna be hanging down there in the pen. They've done it for the last two years. So got set up and I only yelped to them twice and they gobbled back both times. And I was just getting ready to tell Cam, those birds are probably gonna come. And at that time I seen all three heads poke <laughs> over. And uh, we had that hard, that hard body flex tone Jake sitting over that breeder hand. And it was like when they seen that, you could just see a flip switch on them. And uh, the bird Cam actually killed came in half strut the whole way. And the other two birds were pinned right to his wing. So it's kind of funny because we've talked about it before, you know, like it'd be awesome to get a double. This is actually his first turkey ever. So we're like, it'd be so cool to get a double on film. And uh, before we'd always talked, if two birds come in together, let's try to three, two, one, shoot them at the same time. Well, as we're sitting down, I got the idea. I'm like, Cam, just shoot the first one you can. And if they're aggressive enough, they'll stay and try to flog that one. And then I'll just, you know, get whichever shot I can get on them. 
Well, I guess we kind of didn't communicate that very well. <laughs> So by the time they got in and they all three split up, because I knew he couldn't shoot, he ended up killing more than one bird. When they split up, you'll hear me say, just pick one. And I think it just kind of psyched them out. And he just cut, tried to pick one and just missed. And obviously, you know, we're shooting extra full chokes. His gun's got a 28 inch barrel. So at 15, 20 yards, you know, you don't have a lot of room for error. He missed. I just pulled up. The second one I shot was standing still, luckily. Folded him. And then the one he missed popped right back up on the road. And uh, he folded him. So got us a double on the uh, third day of season and uh, we've been hunting hard we've been on birds obviously you know we had a close call opening day two birds in the field i thought we had a chance to double up then and um, just couldn't be more excited with it the way it worked out they came down that road fired up flogged the decoy gobbled and uh it might have taken three shots to kill two but we got two birds <laughs> on the ground cam's birds got a nice beard nine inch beard probably one inch spurs i think i killed a super jake he came in acting like a Tom though, but you can see he's almost got a full fan, probably just a young two-year-old, seven and a half inch beard, not much for spurs, but hey, it's bird flopping in the road. You can't okay, beat it. Down. Two birds down, opening day. Came with his first turkey. It's and uh, I don't know if we got it on film, but I couldn't even breathe after the shot. I was so excited. <laughs> we both got up hooping, hollering, and jumping. Luckily, my ankle held up. I've been hunting on a dang sprained ankle for like a month, <laughs> so it all held up, but just couldn't ask for a better morning obviously it's warmed up a lot and uh, we were able to get out like i said once we saw them my hopes got up because we kind of got our butts kicked this morning once we saw them head over that hog pen i knew we had a legit chance and then when they gobbled back at us uh, like i said i was just getting ready to tell them hey they're coming and all three heads poked up and we sealed the deal on them so we're gonna get some more pictures taken and uh we're gonna be back in the woods tomorrow and for the rest of the season trying mm -hmm. to fill that second tag so thank you guys for watching please like and subscribe if you enjoy this, be ready. Hopefully we got more content and we got more birds flopping coming up. Thank you guys.